is my last day in Canada. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why does that make me so mad? Anyway. Oh my God. Okay, well, um, we're trying to haul out. Uh, they need all the furling sails off and they're shackled on, so I gotta go up and uh, unshackle them. So, here it goes. <laughs> uh, got all my tools. You have life insurance, right? They ended up taking three or four trips of the rig and I found all the shackles that were holding the furling sails in place and one of them even split in two as I undid the shackle, so it was a really good thing I had gone up there and taken that off because now we know it needs to be replaced. I then came down the rig and we unfurled all the sails and slid them off of their tracks and the next job was to flake them all. What's his name? Ollie. Richmond? Richmond Ollie, of course. <laughs> the big Yankee. Flaking a sail is a pretty easy operation with two people. It's just a matter of strategically folding a sail. That's what flaking is, is folding a sail nicely. Um, this is how I was taught to do it on um, the tall ship Providence. From here, we tore down a large boat shed uh, because Parahelion was gonna go into the same spot the boat shed was in, which really ate up the last of, of the day and I only had a few hours left in Canada uh, and my boat was still wide open at this point so there was still a lot of work to do. What's, what's happening right now? So it's like what, eight, eight o'clock? Yeah. Um, Barry is leaving tomorrow. Uh, we're dropping him off at 4 a.m. at the airport. Look down. Remember how he said he was going to fix his boat? We're doing it now. We're going live. <laughs> Fuck it, we're doing it live. I guess maybe let's uh, dive into some of, some of what I'm doing. I was rambling, so I'll just do a voiceover. You can see I've replaced all of the rotten mahogany on the deck beams with fresh mahogany, beautiful scarves, really happy with the joinery. Placed all the mahogany here along the inside of the cabin top. I blame Captain Ron, honestly, for all of this. Wave after wave of hilarity. That's the first. Now we're quoting the Captain Ron DVD cover. Um, yeah, new mahogany. <gasps> How dare you say that word? Oh, I said, um, <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, I got, I got. Just think inside your brain. <laughs> I got new plywood on the side of the deck. The thing I'm doing right now is I'm marking all the frames at the top so that I know where to drive fasteners later. Um, and I'll do the, I'll transfer these marks onto the plywood. I've been trying to do this for five years. Um, all it takes is the right woman. She ain't lying. Look at the lid on that bitch. Is there? Oh, that's problematic. Yeah, well, it's there forever now. Things I've learned from just helping people fix their fucking boards. Yeah, this 
this is such, this is one of my favorite little hacks. Right? Because otherwise you're fucking blind. This saves so much pain and suffering. Yeah. And like this took, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Well, that's like the thing, man. If you want to learn how to do someone, something, <laughs> do someone. Uh, what are you thinking about? Um, if you want to learn how to do something, offer someone who's already doing it help in whatever fucking way that you can help. And then you will learn and then they will be way more open to teaching you stuff if you already have a hand for them. But if you just go in there expecting someone to teach you everything, it's never gonna happen. Look, this is a weird one. Uh, yeah, she's super wide. Oh, uh, but there's she... missing a part there. What's it? Oh, yeah, it goes to there. Right? Yeah. Yeah, she's super wide there. She's super wide there, so... Because there's several frames and plywood. Right. Then this is like a corner. Oh, wait. Did I fuck it up? You forgot it. Oh. It ends there. But it will eventually. Oh, good. So Actually, that's yes, like thank careful you. there. Yeah. We epoxied the top of the frames, the bottom of the plywood, and got her watertight and fastened down. And then from there, it was time to pack and try and sleep for an hour or two before my flight. With the Dagon nicely sealed up, it's time to put her to bed for the next one to two months. Um, it's hard to tell with the Pacific Crossing how long it's going to take, but uh, my work was done there. And now the next big thing coming up was Haley taking care of the haul out and me to get myself to Tahiti. Street dogs. Everyone's super chatty. Uh, like a place that was meant for me. Unfortunately, I don't speak the language. <laughs> yeah, walking to the hotel because the conversion from Canadian was gonna be 80 bucks for a cab and I'd rather walk for two hours and pay myself 40 bucks an hour to do it. So this guy pulled over and offered me a ride and we were able to communicate slightly through broken French and English and eventually he asked me to suck his dick, which obviously I did. <laughs> and that really didn't really do it. He dropped me off at the hotel and I met up with Rob who is joining us on the trip across the Pacific. We flew out of Tahiti and went from island to island, eventually ending up in Mangareva. We're, we just got in. We are uh, heading into the last island that we gotta go to. We're looking for Gringo. We don't actually know where he is. Oh, oh, actually I can see him right now. Perfect. So we're just getting ready for haul out. Barry is on his trip now and Simon will be here next week, but it uh, sounds like we have to pull the boat back, flip it around and go butt end in. Um, so I'm gonna be pulling the ropes to get it to turn and then we'll, yeah, we had to cut the mizzen boom rope in order for the lift to get in there. Um, so I'll try and grab video, but it's gonna be pretty hands-on, um, but I'll do my best. Okay. Just turning around to get into the lift, so. She's going stern, stern first. Yeah? Okay. Top of the deck. <laughs> I think we're good. You know, everybody's beautiful, but 
no more Botox for her. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> she's perfect, but she needs to stop. Healthy diet and exercise. Thank you to everybody at Straight Marine for all your help with all of this. Fucking did it. Just over here. This is this is it. This is where it starts. Uh, we have a lot of work to do today, so we're gonna get cracking on that. But right now, it's just Haley and I. If you're nearby, I mean, don't don't fly for the other side of the planet for this. I mean, or do. Or do. It's, it's gotta be a lot of Haley. work. Haley. Please help me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Yonder calls for aid, the torch is lit. <laughs> okay, well, Haley's lighting the torch. We're gonna have to do a lot of cleaning and sorting out before we can even house them on exactly. here. Exactly. Well, no, we cannot house anyone on here. That's well, clear. I'm, I feel uncomfortable being here right now. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here then. All right. Let's Is get it some... me? Am I making you uncomfortable? Yes, yes okay. you are. <laughs> okay. God damn it. Great. All right. Didn't mean there's a shower in there? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's it, no. There's a bathtub in the other one. <laughs> there's a freaking bathtub. Uh, and then moving forward, we have these cool V-Births. And, and, you know, usually when you say V-Birth, and maybe it looks a little cramped in here comparatively, and sure it is, but remember... I am six and a half feet tall, and I am standing upright right now. Inside here, I have to crouch maybe two inches, but that is an insane amount of space for a V-berth. Yeah. Considering there's no cabin here, this is just deck above us. Yeah, there's a place for magazines. Spectacular. Yeah, like well, magazines. we gotta keep our magazines there, that's handy. <laughs> All the playboys. <laughs> <laughs> um, even he used to dress up like Santa. You should check that yeah, out. Look at his suit. So it actually has two Santa suits, as far as I can tell in here. Um, so if that doesn't speak to his character, I don't know what does. We'll so we're only the third owners, probably? I think so. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm not, uh, by the time, if it, if anyone knows anything about free boats, by the time you get your hands on it, you're usually the 20th or the 30th owner. Welcome to our kitchen. This um, is... We have a washer dryer. A galley with a washer dryer. Um, as far as I know, it works. It looks like probably the newest thing on this boat. And it's straight up from the 90s. I don't think I've even opened this cupboard yet. It's all right. It'll, it'll open. It opens like this. Uh, ha ha. Yeah, so. And then you got a latch right there. Right. And that does that. Hold look, on. that is so tall. Look, look. Can you reach the top shelf there? No. <laughs> Like, this in is, this area, it must be like, what, 10 feet tall almost? This feels like a ship, not a boat. It's, it's just oh, so fucking, tall. She's a friend ship, is what she is. Oh. <laughs> um, so you can see, this is exactly what we're dealing with. Here. There's some of the worst of it right there. Well, some. Emphasis on some. It seems to be in a lot of places. Yeah. So, And also, I think there's spiders in here. It's a boat. Of course there's spiders in here. <laughs> No, it's fine. I'm friends with spiders. They'll be good to us. So check this chart plotting station. Like, chart plotting, oh, chart let, plotting let just, station. Let me just clean this up first before you get it on video. <laughs> uh, it is just, just unbelievable how much bigger everything is in this boat than I'm used to seeing. Fucking free TV, bro. <laughs> this is a full-on desk. My goal today is to finish cleaning out the Weber. I just cleared everything out of there that was remaining and I got this extra double strength 
cleaning vinegar. So dealing with the mold right now, hopefully, and just clearing everything out is gonna be really, really beneficial. Um, so once I do that, I'll show you guys a picture. I'm in the V birth right now. I've just cleaned every surface. Um, you can see it sparkles, all that, it's shiny. Um, I haven't gone in the chain locker, not gonna lie. I don't know what I'm gonna find in there, so I'm just gonna hold off for right now but already a thousand times better. So what I did was I sprayed the whole thing down with the concentrated vinegar, let it soak for an hour, and then I went in with the scrubber and uh, soapy water. I have this little bit bucket that actually the scrubber fits perfectly in there. And I just took that whole thing and I went over all the walls and then I wiped it down with shop towel. Um, I think once I let this air out, because the humidity is like close to 100% in here, um, I'm gonna go in with hot soapy water, wipe the whole thing down again, and then once that dries, I'll probably respray it with vinegar. But I think that that's probably my game plan for just getting the filth of everything off. Okay, bye! Um, so basically what we're doing is we're opening up all the cupboards and seeing what's in here as well as like I said before We're returning Evan um, His things that he's requested. I have a two-page list um, But there's a lot of things that aren't on the list that we're just finding that are amazing um, little oil lamp um, This beautiful lamp that was in the crew bathroom the crew head. So cleaning montage now We're just like blitzing this thing. I'm gonna go put my mask back on And this is the end of the cleaning for me. Look at this van, absolutely jam-packed. We have all the sails, all the covers. We even have a uh, outboard in there. All the cushions are in there. And I'm gonna throw that dinghy on the roof here and then we're gonna take that back to Silva and fix it all there so that we can just focus on getting just this deck done here. It's just a deck party. Big old deck. I was hired as delivery crew aboard this boat, and Gringo had just sailed across the Pacific from the Galapagos Islands. From here, we would set sail on a 4,000 nautical mile trip across the Pacific. We had plotted our course for Cape Horn, but before we raised anchor, we had a bunch of servicing and preparation to do, as well as provisioning for the trip. We tensioned the entire rig stem to stern, and it's a Dyneema rig, so that was a fascinating process. I also spliced up some Dyneema whisker stays and a bob stay. Eventually we would deflate the tender and strap it down on deck, set up the Watt and C generator. After many more things like that, we would be ready eventually to pick up anchor and cast off. We leave tomorrow. Um, and we're just doing a big cleanup now. And Things are getting pretty close to ready. Seeing as how the ship was more or less ready to go and it was our last day in French Polynesia, Rob and I decided we were gonna go climb both of the big peaks on Mangareva. This is 423. I think that's the one that we're seeing in the distance. Yeah. Hey, I'd be keen to go up this ridge. Let's do it. Okay. This was going to be the last time I could set foot on land for 
one to two months, so we savored every moment of this. Not satisfied with climbing just the one peak, we headed off immediately to go for the other peak and it was so worth it. This is the second peak and it is very narrow and it was very high up, but man alive was it ever beautiful. Probably an hour or two away from departing. Ship's getting a lot more put together. We got our ditch bag. Um, everything's pretty well sorted. We got new fruit and veg washed, put away. Got all the salad put in here. Got all my stuff in dry bags in case anything happens. Yeah, almost go time. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, everything. The response has been overwhelming. Thank you so much.